That's the bio bus. Uh, it's driving around the Bronx. And uh, the bio bus is a mobile science lab. So uh, if we're talking about scientific literacy, um, as Diane uh, so clearly made the point that we need to increase scientific literacy, that's what my call was to start this bus. I did my PhD in the lab of uh, Mike Sheets at Columbia. Uh, he spends summers here, uh, some of you may know him, and I was studying cells and how cells crawl around. After I finished my PhD thesis, I uh, decided that I needed to get out of the lab. Well, I needed to get out of a lab that didn't move. <laughs> Now, when we were building the biobus, it's a 1974 transit bus, and when, when we were building the biobus, we made a conscious decision to try to make it as carbon neutral as possible. So we'll uh, take a little tour of the outside of the bus, then I'm gonna show you the inside of the bus, then I'm gonna show you some of the cool experiments that we do in the bus, and I hope uh, you'll uh, get excited enough to stop by the bus at five o'clock after the conference is over. It's uh, a right, uh, it's just down the street from, from Lily. So the outside of the bus is covered with solar panels. We have four solar panels on the roof. Um, there's also a wind turbine that's connected to the front. Uh, it does great out at places like this. Not, not so well in the middle of New York City where we're spending a lot of time surrounded by skyscrapers. But the electricity for the lab is made by both the solar panels and the wind turbine. Now, I want to take you a tour inside of the bus. Shoji, are you here? Uh, oh, there he is. So it showed you, uh, this is a, a, the NHK television clip that we did. These are some of the students that come onto the bio bus. This is a school that we were visiting, a middle school in Washington Heights in New York City. And the students are using some of the same microscopes that we use uh, in the labs uh, in, at Woods Hole that I used during my PhD. Um, this is uh, this student's own cheek cells that he swabbed and is now looking at the nuclei and various uh, cell physiology structures. We even have uh, fluorescence microscopes on the bus. This is a slice of uh, rat neuron, uh, rat brain, and we're seeing individual neurons stained in red and fluorescence. Uh, these are 10, 15, 25,000 dollars microscopes. Um, and the students get to come on board, they get to use those microscopes, they get to get their hands on equipment uh, that we hope is going to inspire them to continue exploring the world around them, to study science, and hopefully someday become scientists at places like Woods Hole to save the lobsters and all of those other uh, important problems that we're trying to solve these days. Um, and I just want to uh, say, uh, that that microscope, at least temporarily, uh, has been replaced by a different kind of microscope, an electron microscope. And as far as I know, we are the only sort of publicly uh, touring electron microscope bus <laughs> in the world. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> And I'd like to thank Shoji and Eric from TopCon for installing that microscope on the bus and also for coming to Woods Hole to help us uh, become experts at using it. So uh, stop by later and you can meet them as well. Now this is one of the critters that we look at on the microscope. This is a, an organism called Daphnia. It is a freshwater crustacean and it has many interesting features that the students uh, can start identifying. It's about uh, a millimeter long. And does anybody know what that is? Yeah, that's its eye, exactly. And its heart uh, is right back here. Its digestive system is coming around here. For middle school students, they love seeing this animal poop. <laughs> Do you want to see it bigger? Yeah, OK, good. <laughs> so we're going to zoom in on uh, this little section here. I said that that's where the heart is. Here's the heart beating inside of this animal. And the students can find these organisms in puddles, ponds, lakes, Central Park, Prospect Park, Woods Hole. Um, the first time I found this organism was in a ditch on the side of Moshulu Parkway in the Bronx. Uh, they live everywhere. So it's a great way to get students connected to their local environment. Um, everybody knows who this guy is? <laughs> I think he might be at, at Occupy Wall Street right now. I'm not sure. Um, this is him, magnified about 
uh, 600 times. This is one of his white blood cells. Uh, we were on his show uh, with Rebe Rebecca, well, my data was on his show with Rebecca Skloot, who wrote an amazing book that you should definitely check out. Um, and the students get to look at, not usually at blood cells, but at least at amoeba, which is a great evolutionary uh, comparison. Because amoeba, amazingly, move in exactly the same way as these cells that are crawling around inside of your body right now. This is another experiment we do. We collaborate with the uh, NYU, New York University Materials Science Research Center. And you are right now watching paint dry. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to see that bigger? Yeah. <laughs> so here's a slightly more magnified version of it. You can actually see individual particles of paint. Uh, as the water dries, the paints jam together and form a layer of dry paint. Boring to watch paint dry? Like without a microscope in it. Without a microscope in it. And they love it. The world is much more exciting than some of the macroscopic world that they know. It's cool to watch paint dry. Yeah, it's cool. amazing. I thought it was going to be boring. I, know, but I, I thought my watching mind. paint dry was boring, it was so but it's fun. awesome! <laughs> but it was <laughs> So, if you want to see the biobus bigger, there are a lot of ways for you to get involved. Um, we have scientists who help us develop new experiments. We have people who come on board and volunteer in all different sorts of way, ways. We're trying to build a new bus. Um, we're looking for people to help us fundraise. Um, so, if you'd like more information, biobus.org is our website. And again, I'd love to see you on the bus at 5 o'clock after the conference.